question was, do we need All right, we're here for our weekly Marion County Board of Commissioners meeting. It is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. It's 9 a.m. We're here in the Senate hearing room. Good morning. Hi. Sorry I was rushed coming down. I was upstairs getting some last minute stuff done. But as always, we love to start with the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you'll join us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, our first item today is public comment and we have no any signed up none uh, so we'll move right into our consent calendar commissioner well before I move to yep. approve it I want to understand item one because we had a discussion yesterday and I've had no follow-up on it okay I did I, that's one of the reasons I was upstairs communicating with um, former Commissioner Carlson uh -huh. and uh, she did send an email to HUD um, and pointed out, uh, and Jan Calvin pointed out yesterday that we are certifying the four programs that were proposed at, uh, for funding on the attachment are consistent with the Marion County Consolidated Plan. The HUD answered the question, um, yes, Marion County can complete the HUD 2991 form even if it has not been accepted by HUD yet. So I said on, uh, that I'll make sure I put on the record, in fact, uh, if you wanna uh, leave it on the consent calendar or move it to an action item, I, I think we could probably leave it on the consent calendar but make a comment on the record before we pass that motion that basically we are um, signing an authorization form that those four funding programs that are outlined on that first page mm -hmm. are consistent with our draft HUD plan that is in the process that has not finally been approved by HUD yet. Okay, so I guess my concern is is that I haven't had a chance to be briefed on any of it. And so although I have no issue with the four programs, I don't even know what the plan is to, sh to state my, comp my ability to know that they're in, you know, they're consistent. So I suppose then I'll just move this to, I think I'm comfortable waiting as well. I, I was thinking about it last night because we just heard about it yesterday. And so, so you just walked in, and I want to tell you what I what, what I found out. Okay. Uh, that um, uh, they they pointed out that what we were certifying is that the four programs that are proposed on the on the funding programs, all we're doing is saying that those are um, consistent with the Marion County Consolidated Plan, which has not been accepted by HUD yet, but the answer from HUD was, um, you know, Commissioner Carlson, former Commissioner Carlson said, um, prepared the certificates of consistency attached for the two largest jurisdictions in our region. Marion County officials at the meeting I just attended asked whether they should be uh, asked to complete the certificate of consistency if their consolidated plan has not been accepted by HUD. I told them that I would check with you. Their answer was, Thank you for checking. Yes, they, Marion County, can complete the HUD 2991 if it has not been accepted by HUD yet. And it's just saying that we are, um, th those four programs, uh, which was um, uh, Center for Hope and Safety, uh, Shangri-La, Shangri Sable House, and um, Jimmy Sable Johns, House. right? Right. Community yeah. Action. Community Action. Community action are consistent with what we are doing in our plan so far, even in the draft. I think they don't need it till the 12th though, right? My understanding is, is there has to be some level of web notice, notification, Correct. and this is, this is mostly procedural. And I understand that I can go back, or you know, that somebody is going to spend some time with me, bringing me up to speed on all of it. I'm just concerned about the wording. I'm, I'm concerned that I don't know fully what I'm supporting, and what if in a week when I am up to speed, I have reservations? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I share that concern. And, and I'm, I'm on the board of, of this organization, and I didn't know about this until yesterday. And so I think it's okay to wait a little bit. And if we have to have a special meeting to approve it in a couple of days, we can do that as well. Jan, okay. I mean, I'm, yeah. All right. So do you want to make a motion to uh, pull item number one from the consent calendar? 
Yes, Mr. Chair, I, move, uh, I make a motion to approve item number one from to, the to, with oh. to pull it. What did they say? <laughs> to approve, approve it. it. Well, now I'm just all flustered. To pull it from the consent calendar. Then I'll second the motion to remove item one from the consent uh, agenda. Okay. Well, we have a motion to um, pull number one, item number one from the consent calendar. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All right. We'll move on. And you want to sure. finish up with the consent calendar with items two and three, please. Yes, Mr. Terry, move to approve the consent calendar. Item number two, finance, approve a contract for sale from Marion County to grantee William Lemire for foreclosed property tax account number 100557. And item number three, under public works, receive notice of hearing, hearings officer's decision recommending approval of zone change comprehensive plan amendment ZCCP case number 21-006. Jordan Schweiger and schedule a public hearing for November 24th, 2021. I'll second the motion. Yeah, motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Item number uh, four, which is under at first item under action, consider approval of a software license related professional services agreement. With Data Cloud Solutions, the amount of 450000 for the purchase and implementation of CAMA cloud software licenses and accessories that will integrate the county's current CAMA or CAT system through June 30th, 2028. Just a lot of letters. Tom, that. yeah. <laughs> Jason Derringer, start this off from an IT perspective. Hello, Jason Derringer, uh, Manager of Application Development. Good morning, I'm presenting today with Tom Rolfing from the Assessor's Office seeking approval for $450,000 uh, in professional services uh, with Data Cloud Solutions to imp implement the CAMA Cloud software. CAMA Cloud tightly integrates with our recently deployed ORCAT solution and enables the Assessor's Office to assess properties in the field using mobile applications. This is a 100% software as a service application and has very little impact in IT. To give you more details, I'll turn it over to Tom. So in, in Jason's uh, presentation there, you heard CAMA a few times. Uh, CAMA stands for Computer Assisted Mass Appraisal. Uh, that's our main assessment and taxation system. It, it does the valuing of our, of our properties. We set up, we set up uh, our, our computer models to, uh, to value in mass the properties that we uh, that we're responsible for. We keep our inventory in this system. Um, this is this is where all of our data is kept, uh, our ownership records and all of those types of things. Um, and this particular application is is like our, our our dream, our whole the whole system coming together. This is this is what will make our our current more modern system um, uh, very efficient. Uh, a lot of efficiency gains by adding this this mobile application um, to our current camera system. Okay. Questions? It sure is nice when dreams come together, though, isn't it? <laughs> we've we've done very well. We're on a good run. Good. Yeah, I don't have any questions. I think we I understand it. Great. You've been working hard on on yes. getting this to today. <laughs> Pardon me? You've been working hard to get to today. Yes, yeah. very hard. All right, ready for motion? Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the software license and related professional services agreement with Data Cloud Solutions the amount of $450,000 for the purchase and implementation of CAMA Cloud software licenses and accessories that will integrate with the county's current CAMA or CAT system through June 30th, 2028. Second the motion. A motion to second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. The news come true. <coughs> Visions come together. Under Public Works, the next item is consider approval of engineering related services contract with David Evans and Associates Inc. in the amount of $792,613.63 pennies to provide agricultural and engineering services for Hazel Green Road, Northeast Mill Creek Road Bridge replacement project through October 31st, 2025.
Ryan, oh good. <laughs> good morning, Welcome. for the record, Ryan Crother, Marion County Capital Projects Manager uh, with the Public Works Department. Like you said, today I'm here to talk to you about, about our Mill Creek Road Bridge and our engineering contract with David Evans and Associates. So the project's located between Turner and Onsville on Mill Creek Road. Uh, it's one of a number of bridges on this stretch of road. So you can see here some photos of the existing structure. It's an existing concrete bridge. You can see there's, there's not much clear space between the uh, elevation of the water and the, the bottom of the bridge. And it was built in 1930. So I'm, I'm coming to the next slide just to make sure I've got my date right. So the existing bridge was built in 1930. So it's over 90 years old. Um, and so we'd need to replace it to meet all current standards. As you guys probably know, the, the standards have changed a lot in 90 years. Um, so in order to do this, the bridge gets larger and then we have to construct approach guardrail, which requires that we realign 70th Avenue to avoid impacting this new structure. And you can see here is kind of our very preliminary concept for what this would look like. Um, as we get this design consultant on board, they would refine this and really finalize the design and come up with uh, our final product. So this, the contract we're talking about today is our consultant contract, which would include uh, design, right-of-way services and bid and award support. So the selected consultant was David Evans and Associates and that was selected through a qualifications-based selection process. So we go out and we find the most qualified consultant to do the work. Um, and then I'm not going to read everything they're go going to do in design, but you can see here there's just a lot that they're going to do. Um, so then our budget, the total contract budget is $792,613.63. Of that, $629,100.78 are non-contingency tasks. Those are tasks that we know the consultant will have to, to do. The other $163,512.85 are contingency tasks, which are tasks that they may have to do depending on, as we work through design, if they, they find certain things, like if they find wetlands on site, they'll have to go through an additional permitting process. Um, so we include that in the contract so we know the cost up front. Our project schedule includes design beginning in 2021, assuming you approve the contract, and being completed in 2023, acquiring right away in 2022 to 2023, and constructing in 2024. With that, I'd ask if you have any questions. <clears throat> Ryan, I'm just trying to I drive these roads all the time. I'm trying to figure out this bridge. This, this is on Hazel Green? Uh, on the way out to Silverton? No, this one's on Mill Creek between Turner and Omsville. So if you notice, there's four bridges that are identical on that road. Okay, um, yeah, I, that's what I'm looking at it going, that looks like it's Omsville Highway, right? Between, uh, uh, between Turner and Omsville. Between, between Turner and Omsville, right. that's correct. What's the, what's the Hazel Green Road uh, reference? I think that that was a different, maybe Did just I? a mistake. Take. We are doing in, a bridge there. It's the one just on the west side of the dairy, the old dairy, but that's not this one. That's not this one, and I apologize <laughs> if that was in my presentation or I said it, because uh, it's the same design consultant, <laughs> and the bridges are so similar, they actually, they're getting a lot of efficiencies by designing both at the same time. Yeah, because it says Mill Creek Road Bridge, right? Yes. I got that yeah. one, but then it had Hazel Green. That's why I was confused. I was trying to figure out where's, <laughs> where's the location of this bridge going over Mill Creek on Hazel Green Road, and I go, oh, I drive these roads all the time and I can't figure this one out. So what road is this? It's, <coughs> it's between Omsville and it's it between Turner. and Turner. So it's Mill Creek yeah. Road, uh, kind of near Mill Cascade Creek High Road. School. Right. Okay. Yeah, and we just improved the road. We just redid the road, uh, I don't know, in the last year or two, because I used to drive it and it was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. now it's nice and yeah, I drive, I drive this area quite nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, our okay. resurfacing program did a really good job with that. Yeah. Both bridges have issues, though. The one that's on Hazel, Hazel Green also has a lack of a space when water comes. And actually, they shut the road down because it floods. They do. And, and one thing I should have mentioned, actually, I just realized I didn't. All of these bridges were funded through our local bridge program, which is a federal grant program. And so they were funded for replacement through that program. So the majority of this is being paid by a federal grant. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, Mr. Chair, I move to approve the engineering and related services contract with David Evans and Associates, Inc. in the amount of $792,613.63 to provide architectural and engineering services for 
for the which road? Mill Creek Road. Mill Creek Road. Mill Creek Road Bridge Replacement Project through October 31, 2025. And I second the motion. <laughs> Did I get that right? <laughs> okay. okay. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Now, <clears throat> consider approval of engineering related services contract with Dow LLC in the amount of $657,298.29 pennies to provide agricultural, <laughs> architectural, and engineering services for the Rambler Drive Southeast Little Pudding River Bridge replacement through October 31st, 2025. Now, the Little Pudding River, I know where that is. That's <laughs> out there towards Hazel Green. <clears throat> Yes, it is. It's uh, kind of, it actually goes over Lake LaBiche, this, this bridge. So as you said, uh, we're going to talk about our Rambler Drive Southeast Little Pudding River Bridge. Um, this is a different consultant. It's Dowell LLC this time. Um, the project's located here on Rambler Road, uh, just off of Hell Prairie Road, uh, northeast of the city of Salem. All right, our existing structure is 1,575 feet long, and it's a two-lane timber bridge. It's one of the longest bridges we have in the county. Um, it was built in 1963. Because it's a timber bridge it, uh, that's getting up there in age, it needs a lot of rehabilitation work. Again, it was funded through the local bridge program, um, so it is a federal grant, and we're going to rehabilitate instead of replace this bridge. So the project scope includes replacing existing rotting timber decking and the wearing surface of the asphalt on the deck. Uh, we'll repair timber pile caps as needed. We have inspection reports that we can start with and then our consultant will identify any additional pile caps that, that need to be replaced. Uh, we'll replace any compromised timber piles with steel H pile so that they will last longer than the uh, timber piles that are there. Uh, we'll replace the existing bridge rail with a crash rated rail to improve safety and I'm going to go back to the slide before for just one second. You can see in that lower right picture the bridge rail right now is just an old timber bridge rail. So we'll improve that to really improve safety on this bridge. And then we'll construct our approach guard rails. This one includes design between 2021 and 2023. We don't anticipate needing right away on this project. So we don't have a right away phase in our schedule at this point. Uh, if our consultant determines that we do need to get under the bridge for something we can't do all the work from the bridge as anticipated, we would adjust that and uh, have to, to add that right away phase. Uh, and then constructing in 2024. And our consultant contract include, uh, again, we chose Dowell LLC through a qualifications based selection process. This contract scope includes design and bid and award support, uh, no right-of-way tasks. Our contract budget is $657,298.29. Of that, $516,840.66 are non-contingency tasks. And with that, I'd ask if you have any questions. So the bridge uh, railing, will it have uh, any character to it? Or is it, what's it, is it just gonna be like metal? It's a pretty cool bridge. I don't know if you've actually driven over it. I have millions of times, and it's it's a beautiful bridge. Obviously, safety is a big deal, but I'm just curious. You know, I, I unfortunately don't have the answer to that at this point. I know that there's a lot of uh, analysis that's going to have to go into replacing that bridge rail because it's a timber bridge. We've got to look at how we can connect to it and achieve that safety standard that's required for a federally funded bridge project. Um, and that's gonna be on our consultant to show us what options we have. Okay, so you have options. We'll pick the <laughs> nicest one. Yeah, exactly. Questions? Uh, no, I'd just make a comment <coughs> that um, we built this timber bridge when timber was plentiful, and uh, never mind. Because it's not now. <coughs> okay. Not gonna make, uh, well, yeah, there's plenty of it. That's you right. You can't get to it. All right. Uh, so Ryan, any uh, anything else? This is just the design phase, right? That's correct. And then we'll come up with some numbers on what it's really going to cost to do these bridges. Right? Yes, uh, that is yeah. correct. Just to point that out. That's a lot of money. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. We'll take a motion. All right, Mr. Chair, I move that we approve the engineering and related services contract with Dowell LLC in the amount of six hundred and fifty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-eight dollars and twenty-nine cents 
provide architectural engineering services for the Rambler Drive Southeast Little Pudding River Bridge replacement project <coughs> through October 31st, 2025. I second the motion. The motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Got my video of the day. Not a video, but. but <laughs> Great presentation. Presentation. And by the way, thank you for coming last week to the Northeast Salem <clears throat> Neighborhood Association meeting. No problem. I, we're always happy to come. Yeah, you did a great job. They really liked you. <laughs> okay, that completes our action today. <coughs> I think I read the calendar last week. Who would like to read the calendar? I think it's this my week? turn. All right. Isn't it? I would actually love it if you read it, considering I can't Your voice. win in my lungs. <laughs> All right. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. I always feel good when we get to November because I feel like it's almost Thanksgiving. There's like a little <laughs> bit of hope. Yay! But it also rains in Oregon in November, so it's like a little bit. We need the fun. rain. Don't be mad at the That's rain. That's true. That's true. Anyway, uh, we just completed board session here in the center hearing room. Uh, at noon, we have a Woodburn Marion County meeting located at Metropolis. That's 347 North Front Street in Woodburn. And then at 1:15. Uh, if we can get back that fast, we have a BOC CAO meeting with an executive session if needed pursuant to ORS 192.6602 ABDEFHI located in the commissioner's boardroom on the fifth floor of this building. And then today at 2.30 in the afternoon, we have a work session uh, and it is a Northwest Natural Gas discussion located in the commissioner's boardroom. And it's the fifth floor of this building, uh, 555 Court Street Northeast here in Salem. On Wednesday, November 3rd at 4 in the afternoon, we have a FEMA today briefing for local officials located in the commissioner's boardroom the fifth floor of this building and then next week uh, Tuesday November 9th at 7 30 in the morning we have a state and Marion County meeting located at the Covered Bridge Cafe that's 510 North 3rd Avenue in Staten on Tuesday uh, again November 9th at 9 a.m. we have calendar review located in the commissioner's boardroom on the fifth floor of this building on Tuesday November 9th at 9 30 we have a management update meeting located in the commissioner's boardroom on the fifth floor of this building. On Tuesday, November 9th at 3 in the afternoon, we have a work session, and that's a CDBG home, home buyer activity and CHDO set aside with Dev Northwest, located in the commissioner's boardroom on the fifth floor of this building. And then on Wednesday, uh, November 10th at 9 in the morning, we have a board session located in this room, the center hearing room. That's the first floor of 555 Court Street Northeast in Salem. Wednesday, uh, November 10th at 1.15 in the afternoon, we have a BOCCAO meeting with an executive session if needed. Pursuant to ORS 192.6602 ABDEFHI, that's located in the commissioner's boardroom on the fifth floor of this building. And then on Wednesday, November 10th at 3 in the afternoon, we have a health and human services policy meeting located in the commissioner's boardroom. Again, that's the fifth floor of this building. There we go. So we have some guests sitting here. Did, did, uh, I, need to return, did I need to return to public comment? Did, did you have something that you wanted to say? We did not have anything for public comment, but I mean, I can add in. I, I've been driving these bridges for years. Oh, well, yeah. Come, come forward watch and it. tell I'm us gonna, now. I'm going to ask unanimous consent to return to public okay. comment. Without objection. Yeah. <laughs> and just uh, introduce yourself for the record, and we want to make sure we give you a chance to say whatever's on your mind. All right, good morning. My name is Scott Guphill, and um, I live in the Kaiser area. Um, I have been traveling on the roads um, that were discussed or previously in this meeting, and uh, it's good to see that the, the, the county is looking to do improvements. I think that the, I mean, the one that goes up Hazel, uh, Hazel Green, I've been watching that over the last 10 years, and I've seen it where they had to replace uh, beams and you know keep it keep it um, healthy, and I think investing in the uh, current infrastructure of the of the different uh, bridges is going to be a huge improvement. I think I, something that caught my attention was the depth of how um, far the bridge is compared to where the water line is because when we get lots of rain, mm. we're blessed with the rain. That really does become an issue. I know um, I've worked in Silverton and seen uh, parts where even that city had um, huge floodings that were starting to come in the city out there measuring the water levels just to make sure it doesn't become dangerous to the people. 
Um, I grew up with my dad being a geologist, and it's been fun to kind of get to see how, you know, I used to go out to job sites and things a lot to get to see how um, just the, the lay of the land, and it was also interesting to hear um, just the engineering aspects uh, presented today. So I'm in support of that, and I'm glad that you guys are taking action on that. That's my right. Scott, public statement you. today. <laughs> thank you. So is that where you came in? You saw that on the agenda? I did not. No, oh. I just just wanted to be present, and came a couple of week, came a couple of weeks ago in, um, and gave some public testimony. And I was just intrigued to kind of keep involved and wanted to see how things are going. Today was a much smaller venue, and we seem to be the only uh, <laughs> non vested people. We're happy to have you. Yeah. Yes. That's why you have to hold like up to the microphone, yeah. because and we and like brought, having people in the audience. Yeah. I brought my daughter with me to uh, partake in the whole situation. Or, uh, She's a event. future politician. I just know it. Yeah. <laughs> she can talk her way in, out of things very well. That's absolutely <laughs> true. <laughs> so thank you for this opportunity. Great. Well, thank you for uh, coming by and coming back up under public comment. Appreciate it. Thanks. Does your daughter want to say anything? <laughs> She's like, come on. She's like, no way. This is a perfect opportunity <coughs> to get a word in, considering you have so many siblings to compete with at home. <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and then it's on, it's on video, so then you could you can watch it and you could say, look where I was. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Matt, do you have anything you want to say publicly? He really wants to get this to 9.30, I feel like. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know, this is uh, this is probably one of the shorter board sessions we've had in a while. So don't wreck it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see what what can we talk about for another two minutes? Or are you all done? Look at this. Are you all done? We we, we had a good thing going. What are you gonna drag it out for? Yeah. All right. I don't have anything to say. Okay. <laughs> Really? I take advantage of oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then we were gonna, I'm going to adjourn quick. 